Hey y'all! Welcome back to another episode of Bottom Line Up Front, where we're talking about travel tips. Today we're going to talk about packing. I'm a little OCD when it comes to packing, so I'm going to share some of my favorite tricks and tips to help you out so that you have a stress-free vacation. So the most important thing, even before you start packing, is choosing the right suitcase to suit your travel needs. Honestly, the designs haven't changed much over the past few decades for suitcases, so maybe think outside the box and see if there's any specialty suitcases that will suit your travel needs. So for example, the suitcase that I use to pack in is a specialty suitcase made for snow gear. The reason that I chose it, it has so many different features that really suit me, such as a split design so I can pack for two people in one, it has lots of compartments to stay organized, and then when it's not in use, it folds down pretty small so it can go right under the bed. This isn't a suitcase that I would normally find just in the store, but I did some research online, found that it would suit my needs, and I love it. So there's three packing methods that I have used throughout the years. The first is the old school way where you just fold your clothes, stack them on top of each other, put them in the suitcase, and there you go. Then I tried folding it up a little bit differently so that you roll it, reducing your wrinkles, but it takes up a lot of space. So now what I do, and I absolutely love it and highly suggest it, is pack vertically so that when you're on the go, you have all of your shirts individually stacked, nice and neat, so that you can easily find what you need, pull it out, you don't cause a mess in your suitcase, and you stay organized. So on that note, not everything can be rolled or folded, so if you have bulky items, like a winter jacket, I'd suggest that you wear that with you on the aircraft, and then you either put it in an overhead bin or put it in the coat closet on the aircraft. Also another bulky item, such as shoes, you can pack things into the shoes and then you can utilize that space inside. I pack sunglasses and jewelry in my shoes so that it doesn't get crushed in travel. Also, if you're going to pack seven pairs of shoes, I just suggest getting a shoe bag all for itself. So a few more of my favorite packing tips is to use press and seal for jewelry. All you have to do there is lay out your jewelry on the press and seal, fold it over, and then you can easily stow that anywhere in your suitcase without your jewelry getting tangled. Pretty awesome. Also, packing cubes. They are my lifesaver because I love to stay organized. I'll put underwear, socks, bras in here, and then I can easily go throughout my suitcase, pull out what I need, and I don't disorganize the rest of what I've packed. It's amazing. For toiletries, take a little bit of saran wrap, put it over the opening of the bottle, and then screw down the cap so that it prevents spills. Then finally, plastic bags. I use the plastic bags to put my dirty clothes in and then I can easily come home, take that plastic bag that's full of dirty clothes, throw it in the laundry, done. And then I also have a, a plastic bag for my dirty shoes so that the dirty shoes stay away from my clothes, my clean clothes. So that's it y'all. Those are the basic packing tips that we wanted to share with you. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe below because there's more travel and adventure headed your way. Like we may be going to a small winter competition in South Korea come February. Thanks for watching. And your travel needs. For example. <laughs> and that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> Honestly, the designs haven't changed. I just said honestly twice tonight. Be next. Screw it down so that you prevent seals. Prevent spills. And then that keeps my clean clothes from being dirty by my bad, dirty shoes. Bad, dirty shoes. <laughs>